Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve issues you might have with your anti malware service um, executable, creating a very high CPU usage, disk usage, or memory. So typically Windows Defender will be listed as the anti malware service for reporting purposes in Windows. And if you've ever gone into Task Manager, and if you've ever noticed that a certain component of your system is using a lot of resources for the anti-malware service executable, specifically the Windows Defender service, on this tutorial we'll go through how to hopefully resolve some of the issues you might have with it. So typically, as it makes sense, if you think about it for a couple seconds, um, it's important that you have the anti-malware service running, especially if you do not have any other antivirus or anti-malware applications on your computer, because without that, it will leave your computer vulnerable to the many dangers of the internet. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to keep the real-time protection enabled for Windows Defender, but at the same time addressing this unreasonable unreasonable amount of memory that's being taken up. So we're going to just jump right into it here. So we've already addressed what the issue is. So we're going to head over to the start menu and we are going to look up task scheduler. So we're going to type in task scheduler like I said before. Make sure you spell it right. It should be listed right above desktop app. So left click on that. On Windows 7 and Windows 8, I don't think there will be anything that says desktop app. You just want to left click on task scheduler nonetheless. So I'm going to blow this thing up full screen here. And now I'm going to expand the folder that says task scheduler library by clicking on the little arrow next to it. And now you want to left click on the little arrow next to Microsoft on the left side. Now you want to left-click on the little arrow next to Windows that appears on the left side. I'm going to make this screen a little bit wider so we can easily see what we're looking for. Now we're going to scroll down until we get to Windows Defender. And if your list is appearing in descending order, it should be near the bottom of the list. So just left-click on the folder. And then on the right side here, underneath Name, you want to drag this top piece a little bit further to the right so we can see greater detail as to what each one of these options says. It should be the third option for you guys anyway but it, it will say Windows Defender Scheduled Scan and it might say ready right now so it, it doesn't really matter exactly what the status is all we care about is right clicking on this and then left clicking on properties. Now you want to left click on the conditions tab on the top. If there's any conditions listed here, you want to uncheck it. So for example, if it says start the task only if the computer is on AC power, uncheck it. The only thing that should be checked is this grayed out option that says stop if the computer ceases to be idle. Do not worry about that. That's fine. You can keep that checked. You really can't change it unless you check mark on this, but we do not want that. So all these should be unchecked, again, except for this check mark next to stop if computer ceases to be idle. And then at this point, you would click on OK. And then you can close out of the task scheduler at this point. And hopefully your anti-malware service executables, high memory usage should be resolved. So thank you guys for watching. I hope I helped you out. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.